the task that we were given to prepare this quarantine center by the government of Nagaland has been taken as a challenge, as a way of repaying back to the people through the services of Nagaland Police. Our respected DGP directed our DIG training to coordinate the efforts and it's been about now six, seven days since we've started to work here. Initially, the place, uh, it has been left untouched for so many years. Most of the roads were inaccessible uh, because of uh, growth of uh, bushes and weeds and stuff like that. And uh, most of the buildings were in really bad shape. And we were given approximately, I think, about this a week's time to get it prepared. Our men and women, they have been working day and night. For that matter, the officer respected uh, the IG training. Mr. Outems, who is the convener of this uh, arrangement, he has been leading us from the front. Now you see the challenges that we face in this quarantine center is uh, different from the other quarantine center. This is going to be the largest, as of now, the largest uh, quarantine center in the state. Now we are talking about a thousand plus here. How we are starting is we have to restore power supply. We have to uh, furnish the houses by way of uh, the redoing the electrification and the plumbings. We started the whole operation last Friday. So in one week, we have been able to uh, get this whole uh, complex running. Now, for the returnings, by Monday, we should be able to have about 400 guests here. Thereafter, after about a week or so, another 600 or so. So in total, one uh, thousand guests can be housed here. What we are aiming is uh, a minimal contact facility. We are trying to have SMS registration process. We are also trying to get in thermal, uh, infrared thermal scanners, not risk the management staff that are here, as well as also the inmates that will be staying here. Keeping with the ethos of Nagaland uh, police, it is an officer-led operation, uh, always. The officers are here on the field themselves. Leading. 